I will shove his head right through my fist. Then I'll take this gun and shove it in his mouth and blow his head off. That's it. Revenge. I can relax like a regular human being. To be continued. Zenith, man, where'd you say this guy lives? He's in the woods, man. Come He's on. Still looking for the band, man. We need no. That's his cat, dude. That, that's his cat. Is that him, dude? No. He looks somewhere. Dude, are you dead? Oh, he must be dead too, dude. I'm, okay. not, I'm not dead. Oh, he's not dead, dude. Oh, you won't be out. Come on, man. Let's go. Come on. Whoa. Oh, okay. <laughs> what come are you doing? Come on, man. Okay. Whoa. Man. Whoa. Looks like you're dead. I'm not, I'm not dead. It's just the caution, dude. <laughs> so, where are we going? I'm gonna go try off on the band, probably. To make a band. Because I like to make better. a band. Uh, where are we going? Don't touch the jacket, eh? Ah! Then we're gonna find another guy, dude. We're never gonna find another guy. Find where guy lives. See that through you! <laughs> Next time on Road Rules, Mission 11. Stop the robbery. Turn that TV down! Come on, man, it's locked. Wait, I'll, I'll go inside and get it. Thanks, man. Ah! Oh. Man, turn it down. I can't hear anything. God, you're making all the noise. I'm freaking loud. Quit being that loud, man. You gotta be, shut up. Shh. Be done. What? He probably hears us by now. What? Just ding off your head. Let's just do this, okay? Just get the gun. Get your gun. Let's do it.
What's up, Mark? What's up, man? How's your wife, man? She's all right. What the heck is that over there? Yeah. See, like, I saw like a shiny. Let's see. It's not something. Don't leave shot out, man. What was that? Get down. I'm trying to get in the house. Hi. How'd the mission go? I killed one of them. The other one got away. What did this other one look like? He was like a cop or something, man. We'll come back tonight with more men. Maybe. If there's more available. But let's go to the base for now. Good plan, Chico. Good plan. This guy has some friends. Sniper with a silencer. I'm glad we got back up. Wait. You. Go that way. You. Go that way. I'll go three four. Let's go. Wait, wait. You were supposed to go that way. You were supposed to go that way. Now it's supposed to go straight forward. Let's go. Guns out. Guns jammed.
it. We lost Chico and the machine gun. We gotta get out of here, man. Come on. show for everyone who likes sports. I'm Mark Milhouse and this is Melvin Musburger and we are here to talk about sports on the sports show which is called Sports Talk and our guest today is what's your name? Billy. Billy Conway and don't get confused this is just a promo. Yes an elongated commercial if you want to call it that which you should call. Anyway and we have another guest later this week or later in the show tonight, his name is Haney Briefs. So, Haney Briefs. Remember that name because you're going to be hearing a lot of it. So, Billy Conway, what are you doing on the show? I brought you guys an apple. Brought us an apple. And a metal thing. I made metal shop. It's a freak. Monster thing. Later this week, we'll also be featuring Totoro from the Mushy Fries. The band we saw earlier this week. It's really good. I really encourage you to watch it. And buy that new CD because he told us to tell you now. They got cool hair too. They have cool hair. They do have cool hair. Okay, director. Will you please push pause because this promo is over. That's right. It's the Psychic Hotline. Our new number is 1-800- Please call. We've served millions of satisfied customers all over the world. Our price, only 20 cents per second. And now, two customers. A live demonstration. Hello? Hey, Jim. Hi. I was just on the phone. With who? The Psychic Network. It's really cool. Psychic Network? Why would you do those? Those are so fake. There's a the rip-off. Don't do those. No, I'm serious. This one, this one is real. I'm the pirate. I'm serious. It's like really real. What did you ask? They, they can tell you everything. It's, it's, it worked out for you? It did. It worked out great. Why don't you call them up? What's the number? 1-800-PLEASE-CALL. <laughs> okay, but I don't, I don't think you, I don't think it's going to work. It's like a car line. Hi, it's Psychic Network. Um, I was calling, do you see any uh, romance in my future? Well, if you really want to find out if you have romance in the future, rely on my magic ball of power. It's the magic ball of psychic powers, as they call it, in the psychic hotline. Let me see if you have romance in your future. No. How old will I be when I die? Well, again, using my ball of psychic powers, I will say, you will die in three weeks' time. Wow, thanks, Psychic Hotline. That really worked. <sighs> well, thank you for calling, Jim. I'm always glad to help our clients, especially ones like you. All of our clients have been satisfied in many ways. Our powers satisfying each of them in their own perfect way. Thank you for calling again. Goodbye. It's the best friend in the whole world. She, our psychic not I really works. Thank you for this time. Hi. Hi. Yeah. When I'm not thirsty, I'm hungry. When I'm hungry, I eat grape nuts. Yeah. It's great. It has no grapes, no nuts, but it's really Good cereal. Yeah. So, come to your local store and buy it. <laughs> you better say some of that milk to your grandma.
Müssen wir auch. Chico, kill that guy myself. Secrecy is. Brother Chico, man. Chico was ruining our operation. I threw him out. I am sure you agree. Let's go anyway. Hey, it's Max. Hey, Max. Is it done yet? Almost, Master. Great. Great. I know who Max is. I'm new here. I'm new. Hey, Master, come here. I want to, come here. I want to show you guys something. Come here. <sighs> okay. Well, I have found something very interesting. I hooked up to the NetSpring satellite, which uh, is over Q, and I found something which will help you guys. Uh, what it is is the black prints to the sheriff's house. No prints are better. They are, but I can only get black prints. Why? Now it shows. 
roughly just the first level. I'm I'm trying to tap in and getting the password for the second one. Now, I'll print a copy for you guys so you can use it whenever. Um, it will take a while though. And that's all I that's all I've got. There's there's pretty much nothing. You else. can you can print it out? Yes, I can print out with my Hoot Packard 660 that I bought for $3.99. You know that Packard sock. We Go can enter the into the jet front jet door. Man. Go underneath there, up the deck, <laughs> and come in the deck room. What are we laughing about? <laughs> oh, the success of our plan. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I have a correspondent now. He's near the house and he's watching the sheriff. He's doing surveillance on the sheriff? Right. Do you want to call him up and ask him what's going on? Sure, let's do it. Okay. Do it now. Okay, the number is the number. Okay. 565-1353. Thank you. Joe's there. Joe. Samurai guy with all the knives, you know. That's that. right. He got wounded when he was trying to escape, but he's back there now. Okay, hey, Joe. Joe. What's going on with the sheriff? Don't use his real name, man. Who's gonna know? The cops, maybe. Uh, okay. Oh, Joe, I'm gonna I'm gonna turn you over to uh Hi Joe. I'm gonna turn you over to Don't use his real name. Joe. I'm John. What what is the sheriff doing right now? Oh, Okay, he's in his room sleeping, because it's midnight. I suggest to you guys that uh, we get some sleep. Because guys, I seriously think we should get some sleep now, because we're going to need it. Uh, guys? Guys, I'm going to bed. Hi, we're here, our, we are here to advertise the chips, Doritos. Oh. Centitos. Tortilla chips. They're so good. They're like an explosion of taste in your mouth. <laughs> but we like them anyway. It's so good. So, go to your grocer and buy them now. Today. Now. Yeah. Hi. Well, I'm not doing my superhero business. Okay. Your no, I'm not doing my superhero business. I'm eating matzahs with my friend here, David. Yep. Yeah. Matzahs. Very good meal. Very. Actually, not a meal. It's actually a light snack. Also used on holidays. Light snack used on holidays. Mm-hmm. Now, what many people don't realize is that matzos are not... Cr Judah can attest to that. Crackers. Um, Judah of the Nile. All right. Yeah, Judah. Is he here? He's here. He's very right old. Yeah. All right, come on, sit down, Judah. Okay. <clears throat> Judah, could you explain what a matzo is? No! Uh, Mr. Superhero? It's... I don't know. I don't really know either. It's commercial about mosses, right? Yeah. It's a breaded cracker. It's not Slightly breaded. Slightly cooked. Bread has yeast. It's bread. It's a uh, thin slab of bread burnt on each side. Well, you say a prayer to it, too. Let's say a prayer, everyone. Oh, please. Be good. When I eat you. No. Different prayer. Jewish. Okay, Judah. Jewish prayer. Baruch um, Atadonai, Eloheinu Malchalam. You kind of have to get on screen here. Amon Tzilachem, Min Ha'ar. You kind of have to get on screen. Just move over just a tad. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, come on. Show us the spirit. Okay, how many people? Spirit we have. Okay. So, uh, anyway. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs>
Okay, okay, I'll push pause. Hi, you're watching the Channel 11 9 o'clock movie on JAMDD. This is a completely different people who might be insane. We're going to do several interviews to determine if these people are insane or are not insane. Let's go inside, please. Okay, sir. What is your line of occupation? I'm a big pizza man. I'm a musician for Nirvana, but Berkeley is dead, so. I'm a hitman. <laughs> I don't have a job yet. I'm only 12 years old. I'm a gun. Who wants to know? You are the government of the United States of America. He makes five cents a piece. I'm an investment banker. I don't know what I am because I'm just so confused. I got the wrong side. I love him. Is your hobby. I do their peaches, that's all. I'm a peach man. <laughs> I'm a musician. That's my hobby. That's my job too, you door. Come here. Why'd you show people? I just play with my little guns. I only answered and paid. I spit on your country and kicked the dirt up. Oh, a quarter. So these, that is my hobby. <laughs> I read books in the sunset. Well, my hobby is been all over the place recently. I don't really know. Hot dogs and hit myself. Do you like dominoes? <laughs> Do you like dominoes? What do you think about the famous actor Jean-Claude Van Damme? Ah! Let's say one last thing to your father. What would you say? I really want to like that pony, father. One question. Burrito or taco? I don't know really. There, uh, I once had a taco that was really good, but burritos on, on the most of the time are better than tacos, to me at least. What kind of profit do you make in a year? About 87 cents. With do you like Doritos? Yeah. What? How do you think your life is heading towards these tough days? It's going down the tubes is where it's going. What are your interests? <laughs> Interview. We have concluded from all the people that we've interviewed that the insurance salesman was clearly the one that was insane. For who likes to eat Doritos? Are you ready to apprehend the suspect? Oh, you better believe it. I'm ready. All right. Anything you have with this guy. So anyway, I'm at the 7-Eleven, and the guy says, give me back my A's. <laughs> hey! That's him! That's the suspect! I'm ready to be taken with Justin! Stay down. Jensen. You can just get away with this crap. You're going downtown. Hello. This is Four Star Football Rewind. 
Rewind. I'm Mark Milhouse, and this is Melvin Musburger, and we're going to show you. Oh, we lost the mic for a second there. We, uh, anyway, we're going to, oh, it's back. We're going <laughs> to, we're going to show gonna... you. Okay, let's rewind that. That's like, it's like. We're gonna show you. Oh, I got it back now. We're gonna show you an old sports talk clip from 1990. What was it? Two. Three? Two. two. 1992. So uh, enjoy the show. Thank you, I'm Mark Mildhouse, and this is Melvin <laughs> And um, <laughs> We're here for Sports Talk, a new show which we have created out of our own minds and thought about. It's about sports, and our first <coughs> guest would be Rookie of the Year for the Philadelphia Eagles, Billy Conway. Billy Conway, on the show. Yes, first. It's Hi. Great. Okay, Billy Conway. What does it feel like to be number nine in the draft? The ninth pick in the draft. You know. Well, I was pretty happy, and then Joe Smith got picked before me. Joe Smith is a basketball player in the future. Yeah. He's gonna play for the Golden State Warriors. I can sense it. Yeah. Right now. But I, I meant I meant Bruce Smith. Bruce Smith. I get those, I get those oh, Bruce confused. Smith. All the time. I'm me too, you know. Bruce Smith and Joe Smith. Basketball, they're, football. They're, they're really alike. The one and the same, actually. They're. I think they are the same sport, you know. Basketball, football. I like sports. Anyway, to get our show off to a quick start, we wanted to tell you people about Melvin's exciting Aerobiflex school coming out to a theater near you. What do you have to say about that, Melvin? Hey. <laughs> okay, I guess you're retarded in the early years. Hopefully Melvin will mellow out someday and not be retarded. But we all know it's pretty far-fetched to want so much. Hey, that's my shirt. Don't be ripping that apart. Anyway, thank you for watching our first show. And we'll see you next week. <laughs> oh, crap. Oh, hello. We are here on the road. Well, actually, we're just outside the house. And we're going to show you some pass patterns that we learned from John Elway himself. Melvin will go out for a few passes. I will throw to him and we'll show you <coughs> how to do the pass. Here is a tee hee hook. Tee hee hook. Back up a little bit, cameraman, so you can see them. Up. Go. That's perfect. Well, some things don't aren't always perfect. No one can be perfect. Mel, Mel, okay. This is a bomb, which means go real far. Almost. That thing. <laughs> Those are the mysterious Indian people. Say head off. Oh, do the fingertips. That that sucks. Okay, we have a commitment to our audience, so we're gonna keep doing this till we make it. Ready, Melvin? Melvin. He's never ready. Okay, ready? Same play. Go on. Now, go. Melvin is like terrible. I don't man. God. You will never give up. Go. Oh. 
god! DQ, and I meant don't quit. Because, you know, DQ is abbreviation. Dude. Go! Get closer. Go. There you go. Melvin didn't catch it. He said he told me that he dropped it. So we're gonna do it over. Car! Game on! Okay. You ready, Melvin? Go! Ooh! Use those hyper jet speeders you got there. On you. Hey. Go. What? Oh my gosh! He caught that. Tree interfered with that patch. Can't blame me for that. This time, Melvin's gonna catch the ball. See? I told you. That couldn't have been more perfect. Go stop him! He's running away! Now we've completed our normal pass. We'll go for the behind the back bomb pass. We'll get this on the first try, I can tell. But first, car! I want to lose my hands. Look at me. <laughs> Lemon slushy. That's our name. Stay off the grass. That's our game. Boom! Hey! Oh! You're Jake Ross, Robert Ross's brother, with a special report. After the commercial. Yeah. Oh, when I say movies, 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 what do you think about? Movies? Me too. Anyway, this is usually used for commercials like milk and Doritos and Cheetos and Tostitos. But this time, we're using a five-minute making of the movie Sci-fi buggers from outer space. 
It makes you feel just like you're one of those sci-fi players from outer space. Now for the preview you've all been waiting for. Mr. Portal, where is that uh, you stink? What does the Mystic Portal do for us anyway? Gets us back to our home world. Well, Zartan. Zartan. Must be past this door. Or we came far. Coming up with the idea of this film was kind of hard. Um, all I really needed was some motivation. And my friend uh, Marty came to me with this very great script of a uh, couple of guys in uh, outer space in the future um, trying to find their way home through a portal. Um, now, the whole film is about their adventures, uh, trying to find the portal, and I'm very pleased about the results. Yes, I, I think I took the film because the script was just so deep in its essence. I mean, two guys trying to find their way home through a mystic portal. It's just amazing. The performances were great. I was great. I was incredibly great. In fact, I think I should get an Oscar for this. Oscar, come to me. Man, Oscar, that would be awesome. But, <laughs> it's grill. Ah! Oh, hi. Uh, can we hear about this interview, please? Because uh, I haven't found the Mr. Portal yet. So you see, in the movie, we found oh, a God. fake Mr. It's, Portal. We never it's found not the real. real one. It's fake. Oh. Oh. No. That's a prop, you moron. Idiot! There it is! The Mystic Portal! We're home free. Yeah. I think, personally, if the critics watch this with an open mind, and um, I think they'll like it. I think overall, I think I deserve an Oscar performance for this. <laughs> Quit doing that! Stupid stage director. Anyway, I think I deserve an Oscar for this. Overall, for this epic saga of warring countries, well, not really warring, but I think I deserve the Mystic Portal. Shut up! It's not real, it's in the movie, that's all, it's in a script! Hi, I'm Fat Guy. This is Cisco. George Cisco. Not Gene Cisco, to be confused with the other critic. We're here to talk about the new movie, Space Buggers from Outer Space. It is by far the worst movie I've ever seen in my entire life. I would give it negative five stars if that was possible. It makes me sick to my stomach. Yeah, me too. My stomach is pretty big. But he gets sick when I watch this movie. This movie, man, it takes a terrible lot. Terrible to make his stomach sick. My stomach gets sick only on a few occasions a year, maybe we're once. We're here to talk about fat. And we're how, here to talk and about how fat how guy stupid here. He's it's a Crisco as a can, sick. butter. But no, what? This movie <laughs> overall <laughs> is just terrible. Close the door now. <laughs> two thousand years ago. Two thousand years ago. The gorillas took over, and the human race was destroyed. Oh my god! The whole human race is destroyed! I mean, don't talk about the whole entire human race! Not just like 50. What's that? Why? I mean, what in the devil is that? Why? Stupid girls! 
The great results I got for uh, Planet of the Apes 1, 2, 3, and 4, and all the money I got from that, the commercial promotions and so forth, I thought, why not a fifth one? So I got some actors, some script makers, and I made a film. In this movie, we played very... Playing a gorilla in this movie was quite just, a joy. Yes, it was. It was. It was a really great experience. You could let your animal self out. Um, we're donating these. Um, not necessarily donating. Sylvester so Stallone is buying the R2 masks here of great quality for five hundred thousand dollars a piece. And oh crap! Never mind. We're just selling that one right now. We're donating yeah. them to Planet Hollywood yes. right now, but Sylvester Stallone has already given a contract. Yes, thank you. He's going to buy them. Overall, in this movie, again, I feel that my performance was Oscar caliber, and like, the Academy didn't honor me for my performance in Space Buggers from Outer Space. It, it's been, there's been some controversy over what the real name of the movie was, but it seems as though that I had a good performance. Hi, I'm Fiscal. And I'm Fat Guy. And we're here to review Planet of the Apes 5. Yes. I thought this was a terrible movie. It's the best movie I've ever seen. What are you talking about? <laughs> the worst movie I've ever seen, well, maybe ex with the exception of Space Buggers from Outer Space. You don't know what you're talking about. Planet of the Apes. I know what I'm talking about. such an original about. idea. Planet of the Apes 5. It's the fifth story in a sequel... Let me rephrase that. It's the fifth movie. Yeah. Just get out of here. I, no one wants you on the show anyway. Don't you touch me. Fat boy. You're, You're so getting fat. fat now too. You're so fat. Can't even watch the show anymore. But I'm Robert Ross, here to interview Grape Jelly, the man with the nickname Grape Jelly. His real name is probably Grey Jelly or something. Anyway, hello, Grape Jelly. How did you like starring in this movie, Planet of the Apes 5? I thought it was good. Yes, that's what uh, Fat Guy of the, you know, the sequel, Fat Guy and Siskel, or Fiscal as they now call him. They gave it a thumbs up and thumbs down, but Fat Guy gave it a thumbs up. How do you think about that? I feel good about it. I think I, think I should. Most other critics hated it, though, and I personally thought it was a disgusting garbage heap of movie making experience. I don't I don't think I ever want to watch it ever again. I probably pay money to have it destroyed. <laughs> but join me next time as I interview my mom. Bye. It's time to party. Woo! 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 Ah! Ah! I work in accounting. Two regular programming. <laughs> now it's time to say goodbye. Okay. This is Sports Talk Unsolved Mysteries Edition. Today we have on our show Haney Briefs. He's 84 years old, on the brink of a heart attack. But he's Haney Briefs, and he's here on our show today. On Unsolved Briefs. Mysteries. Mr. Hello. Haney Briefs, how Hello. are you alive this long? Drink a lot. You drink? You're alive? Yes. Okay. I drunk. I've been drinking since I was nine. Oh. Um. Yes. Uh -oh. And didn't you have to drink before that? No, actually, I had my mother's milk till I was eight. Eight? Yes. That's, that that's sounds nasty like a mug. Oh, it was, it was quite good at the time, see. Back in 1906. Seattle Seahawks oh, are 8-0 this year. That's see, an Unsolved Mystery see. on its own. No, see. And, Amy, what's wrong? I don't know. Looks like he's finally dying, folks. The Unsolved Mysteries mystery. been solved. He just died. Thank unsolved you. Unsolved Mysteries. Anyway. Anyway. Our next Unsolved Mystery is the mystery of this. Joe. With Joe. his missing plunger. Where is like Joe's this. missing plunger? We have no idea. Does anyone have any idea? Hey. Have you seen my plunger? 
So, if you, if you have any information plunger, on his missing plunger, give us a call excuse, at one. Dash my plunger, you poop. Anyway, okay, that's I'm Unsolved Mystery that. has been solved. So, this show today is called Solved Mysteries, not Unsolved, unsolved Mysteries. Mysteries. Thank so, you. This has been Mark Musburg and Melvin Mishow. And we'll see you next time on Sports Solved Talk. Mysteries. Sports, Sports Talk. Talk. Bye. That's enough. That's enough. Today, a 3 one brawl in a shopping mall ended with one woman dying, the other woman being wounded very badly, and the other woman running out the back door. It all started with one woman getting in another woman's way in the shopping mall with her shopping cart out. But on to other news. We at UCYP have a commitment to news. on TV yesterday, didn't we? Yeah. Uh, we should find out what happened to us on TV. Why did we get murdered on TV? I want to know. Yeah. But before we unravel the mystery of our deaths and their subsequent consequences, let's get something to eat. Hurry up. Come on. There's the kitchen. Oh, there's the kitchen. Why would you come on TV? Don't you just love Doritos for breakfast? Yeah. Okay. Why would you come on TV? I don't know. But now, since we have just finished our breakfast, let's get to the ministry at hand. I'm not going to eat yet. Got murdered on TV. Millions of people saw us get murdered on TV. It's Christmas lights. But, but who is that? Hello. Hi, I'm the psychic. We are extreme golfers. And we're selling a very nice product to you for only $40 a piece, a bottle, a piece. Let me rephrase that. A bottle piece. And it is Golf Club Polisher. So now we will go downstairs and test this very nice polisher. I will get the bottles in the kitchen. I mean, the, 
other room. Thank you, my good sidekick. Today, you will see this fine product in action when we polish this record. <laughs> Sorry. Apply one full bottle. One full bottle. Excuse me. Two full bottles. Two full bottles. Into my hand. Or your hand. Or your hand. Whichever you should choose to do. One more bottle to go. Two full bottles. Forty dollars a piece, eighty dollars for great two. deal. You get two for eighty dollars, or or one for forty dollars. And then I know. Make your hand moist and apply to the racket. Apply. It's cold. Speak and span. It's. Polished and no, like. Thank you. Now my associate Harry with a test of the club. Newly polished. Thank you. Now that it's shiny, wipe off the remaining club shiner. Looks like a mud. But now, that guy over there is going to say something else. This, I am a satisfied customer. I used uh, that polishing of this thing. I think they call it the club polisher, shiner or something. And it worked great. First time I used it, I like, I improved 50 yards on my swing. It's was incredible, the improvement I made. I mean, 100,000 yards is a little bit much, but that's around what I hit. So it's $40 for one and 80 for two, which is an incredible deal. I mean, these guys just think of a lot. Money. It's money. Oh. Oh, yeah, call 1-800-SERVE. I'm not being paid for saying this, you know. And you can order it today. So, after I break. Thanks for that. But, back to the mystery at hand. We need to find out what happened to us on TV. We yeah. got killed, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. The news station. The Channel 5, didn't you say that? BBC. Yeah. Let's go to that newscaster and unveil our demise. Me too. What? Oh, okay. Wait, let me take off my robe and throw it in the bathroom. Wait, hey, you're that guy from the newscast. It is you, isn't it? You're from the newscast. Hey, there's no eating in this building right now, here. Come on, give me that. Fine. Me and my friend don't have to eat in here, because this place is not for eaters like us. Hey, you. So, we got killed on TV. It was on your station. We're not dead, I don't think. We're not dead, I, I think, I know. No, I know. No, we're not dead, I don't think so. I, I think not. No, I think so. We're not dead. We're not dead. I don't think that would be true if I was standing here talking yeah, to you. Fine. We're not dead. I don't think that. It's not true, I don't think. No, it's not true. I don't have to think. It's not true, is it? It's not true. So what's the answer, buddy? Bing. You didn't get killed on TV. Oh, that's your answer. What a great answer. Check the computer. We got killed on TV. 